Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're tuning into this channel across the world. Welcome to Verdict TV, and thank you for tuning into this channel. The news headline Sultan of Shokoto no de fear. Hours after Nigerians complained about Tinobu's convoy, see shocking message he dropped for him. Once again, you're welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning into this channel. Kindly listen to the hint. The news details. Nigerian politicians have been strongly challenged to give up their luxurious lifestyles and put the development of living conditions for common Nigerians first. This request was made by was made in his eminence Muhammad Sahad Abubakar III the Sultan of Shokoto and the head of Jamaatu Nashril Islam JNI to Nigerians in his message for Idel Kabil. The Sultan urged President Bola Metinobu and other new leaders to act right away to act right away to ease the suffering of the Nigerian people in the light of the difficulties the nation was facing. The Sultan's request that political elites give up their opulent way of life follows President Tinubu's recent visit to Lagos, which came after his attendance at the Paris Finance Summit and his journey to London. Although it was anticipated that the President's presence would be low-key, the large motorcade that preceded him garnered ash criticism. Videos of the extravagant convoy of SUVs raising in front of and behind the president's uh, official car have been making the rounds on social media. In a period of economic difficulty, this extravagant exhibition did not sit well with the Nigerian people. Leading human rights activist, the Jiadin Yoju, Question the need for such opulent convoy on Twitter, especially in the light of the strain that the loss of gasoline subsidies has already placed Niger has placed uh, has been placed on Nigerians. He expressed his annoyance and pointed out the irony of having a president who needs a 120 car convoy leading a nation that is struggling with tremendous poverty. Other social media users agreed expressing their dismay and cautioning that such actions help to keep corrupt practices among politicians alive. The idea that leaders should set an example by making their own sacrifices during times of economic hardship is what has the public so dissatisfied. Nigerians are calling for accountability and questioning their leaders' readiness to make concessions in light of the current challenges. Political office holders, extravagant displays of wealth and power via opulent convoys shows a lot of empathy for the difficulties experienced by many Nigerians, adding to their discontent. So Tinubu actually flew into um, Lagos State on Tuesday in preparation for the Edel Kabir on Wednesday. And when he arrived the um the Motala Mohammed airport, um at the, at the, a lot of convoy like different cars were seen following the president's SUV. And this has actually sprouted a lot of comments from Nigerians like um why would the, the government why would the president be using a old like all those convoy like even throughout the hardship even with the hardship that is in the states like so then the jade Oju one leading um um activists has actually said that even amidst this for subsidy issue that these people are very wicked they remove for subsidy and see them still using uh he used an irony of 120 um 120 car convoy following the president even amidst all this um for subsidy and hardship so that means that the first subsidy itself is not affecting them 
it is not it is affecting us it's affecting the masses the poor people are suffering from it but those that are actually gave that policy those that are in power it's not affecting them because if it is you'll not be using that amount of convoy so the sokoto um the sultan of sokoto and the head of um jamautu national islam um Muhammad Sa- uh, Sahad Abu Bakr has actually replied to this um video that's trending where Tinobu was living a luxurious lifestyle and um and actually put up um the way he actually looked when he arrived in Nigeria and so um the um Sultan of Shokoto has said that the government is supposed to be putting Nigerian first and not themselves like the living condition of Nigeria should come first and not themselves, like not the leaders. You are meant to serve the people and not yourself. So the people are supposed to come first before you. So the Sultan now is urging Tinubu and other leaders that they should act right away to ease the suffering of Nigerian people. They cannot be living large and enjoying life while other people are suffering because it is it is arrant nonsense. It is um <coughs> wickedness. It is wickedness, like it's a very big wickedness. The the president was seen with a lot of convoy even amidst this um four subsidy and suffering. While some people cannot even afford one liter of four because liter actually um hiked the price of um four hiked from one ninety five to five forty. Isn't that wickedness? So what's your view concerning this news? Kindly share your view in the comment section and don't forget to like and share and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates. Thank you for listening to the hand.